Ash, come here. Stand. No, don't oh. touch me. Oh. You just nip flashed me. Stand. Hi there, I'm Aria. And as the camming industry continues to thrive, I figure what better way to learn more about this unique and fascinating profession than by spending the day with a cam girl. Oh, that's locked. I'm meeting Scarlett, a cam girl who, like many others, earns money by performing online in nude cam shows. Scarlett is also a vegan and animal lover who owns a dog named Ash. I started camming in April of last year, so I've been camming almost a year now. A year? Wow. After I eventually realized that a pet store might not be the most appropriate place to discuss camming, we head back to Scarlett's apartment. What is this? Oh, it's just one of my presents that I get. You get presents? I do get presents. What's in it? I have no clue. You want to try to guess? <laughs> what does it feel like? What do you say? What do you think? It's a pony. It's a pony. It's a pony? It's a pony. I put that on my wish list. You got me. What are some stuff you've got on your wish list? Uh, my desk in my room and my carpet and my mattress topper was from my wish list. So basically your entire house is Yeah, everything. <laughs> Is there a chance this is going to be inappropriate? Possibly. Oh, actually, this is not dirty. We're good. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's, it's a choker. Uh, it's a choker. Yes. A really cute one. I okay. definitely knew what that was. That's a bath mat? That's a gigantic bath mat. Yeah. <laughs> Rocky, you want to come here? Give it, give it a whirl. How is that for you? <laughs> what would you give that on a scale of 1 to 10? Let's give it a solid 7.5. That's a good number. That's a good number. Scarlett then takes us into her bedroom, where she will usually cam from. Did you say hi? <laughs> this is a lovance. This is what a lot of girls use on Chatterbait. Basically, this goes inside you with the tail hanging out. So it connects to your laptop, and when you get tips on the website, it makes this buzz. So depending on how much you tip is how long it buzzes for and how hard. She also shows more of the toys she'll often use on cam. Nipple clamps. Oh my. I have handcuffs, whips. <laughs> this is like a very dirty version of Mary Poppins' purse. <laughs> yes, I have a ball gag. It's like a... Oh. And it nipple clamps as well. How did you get into Cammy? When I was 15, my dad kicked me out because he wanted to live with his girlfriend at the time who didn't like me. And so I had to drop out of school to get a job and I was working as a dishwasher. I was working like 10 to 14 hours a day. And I knew I wanted to do camming, but I waited until like a couple months after I turned 18. I figured I would just try this and see how it goes. And it kind of saved my life because I was so miserable doing what I was doing. A lot of people think that camming is just only like having a webcam and then just masturbating. But for me, for instance, it's about like building a community and bonding with people and getting to know people like offline as well. Growing up for me, I was bullied and something that I found was helpful was to be in chat rooms online and places where I could talk to other people online. So this is why I enjoy doing what I do so much because I'm still doing what I used to do. Like I'm just talking to people in a chat room. What's it like for your roommate? How, how did that work? <laughs> well, I had to make sure she was okay before she moved in with what I did, and luckily she is, and she's supportive of me. <laughs> if for her, probably it sounds like I'm just in a very enthusiastic Skype call. Soon after, Scarlett informs her followers that she's going live. So right now, people are just like realizing that I'm live, and they'll start coming in slowly. This person says, well, hey, Arya, how has the day been going? <laughs> so polite. My day is going swell. So is this how a typical uh, show goes? Yeah, so this is still like warming up. We already have almost 300 people watching. Wow. Scarlett currently makes up to $700 per session with an audience averaging around 2,000 to 3,000 viewers. Do you want to spank me or do you want to be spanked? These are questions I didn't think uh, I was <laughs> even going to be ready for today. How many is that? Three? That's two. God damn it, Ryan. All right, have a good day too. Have a good day. <laughs> These people are very friendly. Yeah, they it. are. Super this is what people. I mean. But a lot of rooms are not like where it's just all demands and dirty things. A lot of the time as well, it's just like people coming in for conversation. As the show progresses, more requests, specifically for me, start to come in. If you want to flash your feet. <laughs> oh, oh, Nordic Eye says, can we tip to get his clothes off? There's going to be no nudity, Jacker. But luckily, as I knew I couldn't get inappropriate on camera, I already had something up my sleeve. You're gonna get something even better than a new show in a little bit. I'm really, really excited for this. And she should be. 
because since I didn't want to let her viewers down, I preemptively arranged for a local theater company to come join me in the camming industry's first ever live theatrical performance of the classic 1980 musical spectacular, Les Miserables. I've always wanted to do Les Mis and not had the chance to do it before, so I'm really excited to really nail this version here that we're doing today. <laughs> 2,000 viewers right now. They want to see a show, we're going to give them a show. We're going to give them a show. They're going to get something. We can't no. mess this up. Les Miserables! Les Miserables! As they turn your dreams to shame. So how did you like the show? I loved it. I thought it was incredible. It must have been. Three days are all I need. Then I'll return. I pledge my word. Then I'll return. You must think me mad. My viewers loved it. They were writing in the chat the whole time how much they loved it. It's not always sexual. A lot of people come for the entertainment value as well, and that's what happened today. People were joining to see the entertainment of what was going on with the, the theater performance. Without me, his world will go on turning. A world that's full of happiness that I have never known. Can you imagine just going to a room and just jerking off for hours on end? Like, that's boring. You get bored and you just leave eventually. I have the entertainment value, so you come, you stay for my personality, and then you also jerk off sometimes. Camming is more than what meets the eye. People don't understand that there's a lot more that goes into it. Some days I try to think and I'm just like, if I could be doing anything else, what would I be doing? And I can't think of anything else because I just, I always come back to camming. Like I love camming and I love video making. Yeah, this is one of my favorite times streaming as well. This is the coolest thing I think I've ever done on cam. Everyone should check it out. It's not a lonely thing. Cause a lot of people assume like only lonely guys go on there, but it's, it's for everyone. So I'm gonna do this as long as I can. As long as it's making like a sustainable income and I'm happy doing it, then I'm gonna do it. There's nothing else I'd rather be doing. Be slaves again!